Congressman Kevin McCarthy is the first Speaker of the House to be voted out of leadership in U.S. history. But now the House cannot do any business on the floor until lawmakers elect a new Speaker. Skylar Henry has more details from Capitol Hill, where the battle to replace McCarthy appears to be shaping up to be a two-man race. Less than 24 hours after the House voted to oust Kevin McCarthy as Speaker, the race to replace him is shaping up. Right now I've been just obviously I'm listening to a lot of members and having a lot of really good conversations about how we keep focusing on the things we need to do to get our country back on track. Louisiana Congressman Steve Scalise, a McCarthy ally who's already serving as Majority Leader, is running as the establishment candidate. Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan, a conservative hardliner, was the first to jump in the race. I think the key is the conference. I've had a lot of people reach out to us asking me to do it. They think we can. We'll see if that happens. But I think they can. Republican Study Committee Chairman Kevin Hearn is also making a bid for the Speaker's gavel. People have asked me about you know, looking at alternate choice, and so I'm going around talking about you know this issue with other groups of people and see if their votes are there. And others may jump in before the first votes expected next week. Until then, every day that passes is one less day Congress has to pass a long-term spending bill to keep the government open before the short-term fix expires. We cannot and should not uh, again be faced with 11th hour decision of uh, brinksmanship that uh, threatens uh, to shut down the government. Neither President Biden nor former President Trump would weigh in on who should be the next speaker. A lot of people have been calling me about speaker. All I can say is we'll do whatever's best for the country and for the Republican Party. Some House Republicans want to nominate Trump for the position, but he's got his eyes set on another political office. Skyler Henry, CBS News, Capitol Hill.